All right, guys, in today's video, we are going to continue the conversation that we started yesterday. We're going to be talking more about the next generation consoles. We're going to be talking about the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox series, and we're going to be focusing on the T-flop number. And I feel as though this is going to make for an interesting conversation. Obviously, it's pretty much just going to be purely speculative on my part, but I want to talk about this because I noticed that it's something that people as of right now they want to know. They want to know how powerful the PS5 is going to be. They want to know the specifications. And as of right now, they really want to know the T-flop number. T the T-flop number doesn't um, mean everything when it comes to these next-gen consoles, but it's going to play a pretty significant role in determining what we can expect from these consoles, not only performance-wise or uh, you know power-wise in general, but also price-wise. And so the big news yesterday was that Microsoft revealed that the Xbox series will be 12 teraflops of compute power measured in RDNA 2 architecture, which is very significant. It's actually so significant that RDNA 2 architecture is currently not available on the market. That's how cutting edge this console is going to be. And people were very impressed with this. Uh, they were very impressed. And because of this, because of how uh, confident Microsoft is coming off now they're really wondering where does this lead the ps5 and what is sony going to do and more specifically when are they going to start talking about the ps5 because people feel if there's ever a moment where sony should say something it's right now to counter what microsoft is revealing but before going any further in this conversation if you could do me a favor hit the like button if you think you're going to enjoy the video or if you do enjoy the content in general it really helps it out more than you know and be sure to hit the subscribe button as well so you don't miss any future content but getting back to the conversation here the big question that people are now asking i mean they have been asking this for quite some time but now more than ever they want to know what's the t-flop count on the ps5 because i'm sure as most of you know those of you who've been following the channel for a little while now We've been going over a bunch of different leaks and rumors that have been kind of persisting for months and months and months now. And what's really interesting and why I'm continuing to talk about it even now is that we have one piece of the puzzle essentially confirmed. Granted, Microsoft didn't reveal every single detail about the specs of the Xbox series yesterday, but that 12 T-flop number in RDNA 2 uh, architecture is probably the most significant. And so... You know, you have to look at some of these past leaks, right, that have come from sources where we have to question their credibility. Are they lying? Is it true? And there are a few individuals who did correctly uh, point out that, yeah, the Xbox series is going to be 12 T-flops, and it will be an RDNA 2 uh, architecture. But alongside a lot of these leaks, these same individuals talk briefly about the ps5 and what they had to say about the ps5 is also very interesting because on one side we have some supposed insiders leakers uh, people who have contacts within the industry whatever you want to call it saying that the ps5 is going to be a 9.2 teraflop machine and it will not be on rdna2 uh, it'll actually be on rdna1 and there's no doubt that if that were to be true that is a i'd say a pretty significant gap between the two consoles the price may end up reflecting that ultimately though but the big question that i frankly can't answer for myself because i simply don't know i'm not you know i'm not tech enough I don't have enough knowledge on the technical side of things to be able to answer the question, what would the real difference be? What would we see? And I believe I asked this question to my subscribers before, and many of you had uh, answered this in the comments. But even then, I've seen kind of torn opinions. I've seen some people say that you will certainly see a, a big difference. I've also seen other people say that you're really not going to see that big of a difference, at least not as big of a difference as you would assume. Now, obviously, this is just entertaining the notion that we are going to get a 9.2 T-flop PS5. But it's worth noting that many... Other insiders, leakers, again, whatever you want to call them, uh, people who have contacts in the industry, have been saying for quite some time now that based off of everything they've heard, based off of everything they know, based off of what their contacts have told them, the PS5 is actually the one that outperforms and outdoes the Xbox series. Now, this is just where, you know, you have to look at Sony and the way they're behaving right now. Uh, you have to ask, why are they being so quiet? Why are they being so silent? Well, it's for one of two reasons, and only one of two reasons. 
The first reason, which I guess if you were to look at the glass half empty, is because they know that they're going to face more of an uphill battle this time because they know that the PS5 maybe isn't going to be nearly as capable uh, or powerful as the series console and because of that they're trying to plan much more carefully and make sure that they don't make any mistakes and obviously pricing is going to play a very big role in that. I've even seen some people say that the reason why Sony's being so quiet is because they don't have games ready and they're not going to have games ready for the launch of this console. I don't believe that. I don't think that has too much to do with it. But the other reason they could be so quiet, and this is, I guess you could say, looking at the glass half full, is because they know what they have. And because they know what they have, they are absolutely not worried at all. And instead of feeling like they have to counter every little thing that Microsoft has been doing for the past couple of months, they're just trying to keep the conversation somewhat alive, but mainly focusing on the year ahead with the PS4. Not to say that they're not going to have a big emphasis on the PS5, but that they're just willing to wait a little bit longer, and maybe they're just that confident. And the truth is, we have no idea which it is. I mean, it depends on who you ask. There's going to be some people that tell you, oh, it's definitely because Sony's in panic mode right now, and they don't know what they're doing, or they're having some struggles. And to be fair, we do have some reports from Bloomberg that maybe do point to, I don't want to say Sony having struggles, but they're being very meticulous very careful but that doesn't necessarily mean anything's going wrong right like i think that both sony and microsoft have to be very careful and they have to consider every move and announcement they make this year there's no doubt about that the thing is though sony has so much more to lose than microsoft does in this area because they are the market leader not only that sony as a company relies so heavily on the playstation brand that they really really cannot afford to mess things up and i don't think they will but one, you know, one thing I want to point out here, um, it comes from an individual who we discussed on the channel before, I believe it was in one video, who goes by the alias Tommy Fisher, and this person put out information, I believe sometime in like mid-January or around that time, it could have been before that, but the leak I'm referring to was around mid-January, where they talked about the specifications for both consoles. Now, they are claiming that the PS5 is, in fact, more powerful than the Xbox Series. Now, the reason why I'm highlighting this individual is because they got the specs right for the Xbox Series. They were actually very accurate with it. They were completely right. They said that, look, the Xbox Series is going to be 12 T-flops measured in RDNA 2. And lo and behold, they were completely correct. However, they also said that the PS5 is going to be 13 teraflops measured in RDNA 2. And they said you heard it here first. And what's interesting and where this gets really muddy and why I don't want to encourage anybody to really run with this or anything like that because this has, you know, it could go one of two ways. This person could be correct. The PS5 could be more powerful or more capable. Could be the exact opposite. Could be considerably less. But I, I, where this gets a little bit muddy is this individual was not able to get verified on, I believe, Reset Era. I don't know if they were verified on, like, NeoGAF or anything, but the reason why it's important to pay attention to that is because the verification process, granted, I don't know how intricate it is or how deep it goes, but these people who run these forums and the moderators, they try to make sure that it's not just anybody saying these things. They try to look into them and figure out, like, how genuine they are. And that's when they will give the green light and say, okay, like you're vetted and we can, you know, maybe not trust everything you're saying, but look into what you're saying and you, there might be some truth to what you're saying for sure. Tommy Fisher, I don't know if he, I believe he was in the process of getting verified, but it didn't fall through because there were certain things he wasn't will as he puts it, he wasn't willing to reveal. And he did go on to say that, look, I'm just trying to re relay this information to everybody. Uh, people are going to be very shocked when they hear about the PS5. They're going to be very surprised. Um, obviously, he's saying that we're going to be surprised because we're not going to expect it to be 13 T-flops of RDNA 2 architecture. Um, and he's just saying, look, you heard it here first. Now, again, he was correct about the Xbox series, now, Tommy Fisher is not the only individual I want to highlight here because in the past, probably the most credible individual we can bring up here when we talk about the next gen consoles is uh, Jason Schreier because he is someone who he he when he says things, 
I, I don't want to say he's correct 100% of the time because I haven't followed him that closely, but he's earned a reputation where when he says something, you, you really might want to pay attention to it because he, he has very good sources and he usually doesn't say something unless he's very sure about it. And the last thing we heard from him, granted it was a while ago, he said that the last he heard is that the PS5 was in fact outperforming the Xbox series and that they were kind of ahead. But obviously, you know, that was some time ago and we don't know how much has changed since then. And so I'm just bringing all of this up because we also have the other leak from, I believe it comes from Kamachi or somebody on Twitter who is definitely accurate when it comes to the things they leak out because they're just leaking out things that they find from AMD. And this is where that 9.2 teraflop uh, leak came from. It also leaked a little bit about the Xbox series, which I believe that also turned out to be correct. So it creates this really, really interesting conversation. And this is just why I'm talking about it in general is because it's so interesting to see what's unfolding where we have two different things going on. On one side, you have individuals who are claiming that the PS5 is going to be significantly less powerful than the Xbox series. Not to say it won't be powerful because it will be and it will still be a next generation leap. It's just not going to be as big of a leap as what we're going to see with the series. And then on the other side, you have people claiming that no, it's actually going to be a, a very, very powerful console and it's actually going to outperform the series. So we're still left kind of in the dark here. If you're somebody who is really interested in knowing what the PlayStation 5 is going to offer. And the thing is, like, I, I really don't know which side to fall on. I really don't. Because these, like, everybody could end up being wrong. People who are saying, you know, that this console is going to be more powerful and the PS5 is going to be more capable, they could be completely wrong. And it's, I, I, as much as I want to buy into that and I want to believe it because that sounds awesome to me, right? I don't know if that's the truth. Just like, I don't know if I can buy into the idea of Sony going with a 9.2 T flop machine. I mean, both sound plausible. Don't get me wrong. I won't be shocked either way. I mean, I could see Sony going with 9.2 T flops and hitting a $400 price point. Um, but at the same time, I could see them, you know, going with a much more powerful, like, 12, 13 T flop machine and matching Microsoft. I could see both happening. They're both plausible, but it's just at this point we see so clearly what Microsoft is doing and Sony's just so much in the shadows and it's just creating this these thoughts like why is it why are they in the shadows? Why are they still being so quiet? What's the reasoning? Either way, I think things are going to go down really well. I'm I'm excited for next generation regardless and I think everybody else is too. I think some people are certainly getting a little bit uh, impatient, and I will admit that I'm starting to, like, I don't feel like I'm getting impatient, it's just that my interest in knowing more about the PS5 has not, it's never been higher up until this point, because hearing what Microsoft is doing, now I just really want to know what Sony's going to be doing, because it's just, it's so interesting, right, to see how this is all going to unfold, but that's going to do it for the video, guys. Um, I apologize if it came off a little bit redundant, but I really just wanted to talk about this a little bit more and focus more on the T-flop numbers and kind of just remind you guys about some of the leaks and the rumors we've heard up until this point because there are some individuals who have gotten the leaks correct about the Xbox series and some of these same individuals were also leaking info about the PS5 and so we're going to have to see which one they end up uh, which which, which individuals are going to end up being correct in the end but that does it let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below leave the video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload and feel free to share this video out on top of all that but until next time guys take care